how about this? Yeah. Because next up, clams might be an aphrodisiac, oh, yeah. but apparently New York City doesn't need one. According to The Guardian, noise complaints about bedroom activity are way up. Wow. Burrow to burrow, people are getting busy and being real loud about it. Last year, there were 277 noise complaints relating to sex. Queens had the most at 103. Good for you, Queens. Yeah, Queens. Manhattan had 66, Brooklyn 55, the Bronx 48, and Staten Island had four. <laughs> Maybe we need to send Staten Island some clams. Hey. So um, there were some specificities in the complaints. I'm quoting them right now. She makes the bed squeak as if it's an Olympic event. Oh. I've slept through earthquakes and fires, and I couldn't sleep through this. Uh-huh. I love this. I love this, too. Let me tell you something. We have been through a rough couple years. Go and get it. Get yours. <laughs> Go for it. And if you... If I heard this, I would not complain as long as it's not too loud. Just like, a, like, just like normal people, two and a half, three minutes. Have fun. <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> Have you ever like heard people, you know, having having their kind not of fun? Not enough. Not enough. No, I would celebrate it. Sure, I would. And then I'd become that old lady, you know, who's like, mm, I don't know, like. I, but I, I'm listen. Knock the boots. Do the thing. Have some fun. Do the thing. And if you, do you know how many of my friends are pregnant? because of the pandemic. I mean, oh, yeah. it's, it's such a baby boom. It is. It's, it's exciting. Every single one of my girlfriends is pregnant. Mm, really? It, oh my God, everyone I know. Wow. Pregnant. Well, I, um, I've never like heard people um, doing it ever, but I want to so bad. And if, yeah. Yeah. and if I did, I would not complain. I would call my best friend, put it on speaker and be like, listen. <laughs> <Right>? Totally. <laughs> totally. I Get know. a life. Don't complain. I'm sure at like three in the morning, I'd probably be like, all right, you know, I got to work. But like, I don't think I would, I, I would be happy for people. Mm -hmm. I'd say do it up. Yeah, especially speaking to you in Staten Island. Come on. Let's do this. Step it up. All right, finally, oh, some noodle news. Ooh, <laughs> that's my favorite kind of news, Rosie. Yes, because we are wrapping up our pasta week. Ah, don't say it's going away. Your fav favorite week of all, right? It is. I love a pasta. It's my favorite food on planet Earth. It is. Well, Pure Wow reports TikTok's found a new way to strain your pasta. Yeah, it turns out you've been doing it wrong all along. Millions have viewed this hack. They say you should put your strainer into the pot, uh, then walk to the sink and carefully pour out the water. Because mm. look, yeah, the, the pasta never leaves the pot. You understand? Because all, all the other time I've been like trying to hold in the, the strainer and lift the thing, giving myself that facial, you know, and then lifting it out. And I always lose a noodle or two. What do you think? I feel like this one is a, oh, duh moment. Like in a good way, like, oh yeah. The only thing I would say is don't forget to get the mug of pasta water because it's the magic ingredient. Oh, Which, yes. by the way, sometimes on that walk is when I remember. So like, get it while it's good because you'll dump that out and then all of a sudden you'll lose that. You can't get anything. There's nothing you can buy that compares with pasta water. So save it. Uh, but I'm going to try this. Yeah, just always say, you're right. It's just a little bit of that starchy water because it will change your sauce game. It's the best thing. It's the best thing you can have in the pasta world.